Go to the first frame of your text plus title, then go to the inspector, change the font to a typewriter font. The font that I'm using is called Mom's Typewriter. Then go down until you see right on. Now click the end and drag it down completely until it disappears. Then set a keyframe on the first frame. Go forward in time, just a couple frames, something like that, and then drag up the end part completely. With your title on the timeline, go to the effects library, go to effects and search for digital glitch. Now drag the digital glitch effect onto the title. With your title in the fusion page, go to the first frame, then go to the inspector, right click in the text window and select follower. Now click on the modifiers tab and set the delay to two and change the order from automatic to random but one by one. Then go to the shading, scroll down until you see softness, set a keyframe on softness X and softness Y and drag them up completely. Then move forward a couple frames in a time and drag down the softness X and the softness Y completely. Speaking of cinematic titles, Motion VFX has just released their brand new M Title Cinematic 2 package and that thing is stuffed. Over 50 animated high quality cinematic titles that are customizable to the max are stuffed into one big bundle. So if you're into animated titles or transitions or anything, I highly recommend checking out Motion VFX. Link is in the description down below. With your text one selected, hit shift spacebar, search for mask pane and add the mask pane tool. Then go to the top left of your viewer and change the stroke from multi-stroke to single stroke. Then go to your inspector, go to mask and select invert. Then go to controls, go to brush controls and increase the brush size so that it can cover your whole stroke. Then reduce the softness quite a bit. Then go to stroke controls, set the stroke animation from all frames to right on. Now go to the first frame of your animation, left click and paint above the whole word without letting go of the left click. Now you see a couple of keyframes. First of all, go to mask and check invert. Then open up the keyframes window. Now what you wanna do is drag a box over all of those keyframes, right click and go to time stretching. Then go to the end when your arrow turns into a black arrow pointing left and right, left click and just shrink this down. Now what we can do is just highlight them all and position them just like so. Copy the text one and then paste it and merge it on top of text one. On the merge one, now flip this horizontally and move it up until it lines up perfectly. Then go to the settings tab and drag the blend mode down to 0.5. Then go to the copy text, go to transform. Under shear, use the X axis and drag this up. Now add a rectangle mask and move the rectangle mask up, something like that. So it's in half of the mirror text and then give it some soft edge. 